Hello ladies and germs, and welcome to the first annual 2015 Year-End Awards. Now usually we do this shit on our anniversary PSA, but uh, last time we did that, that PSA ran for like an hour. Yeah. That was did. like top ten matches and five honorable matches. <laughs> but here we're going to put on a better award show than the Slammies, because we don't have the budget for um, trophies. And we don't have it rigged. You mean the shit fest? Yeah, the shit fest. The award show where 10% of the roster shows up and everybody else is on the injured reserve list? No, I mean, that's WWE's product currently. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I was talking about the award show where a tag team won tag team of the year and they weren't even there for like half the fucking year. I know, right? I still don't understand that. But hey, we're not WWE, so. Thank God. Anyway, uh, we're the usual suspects. He's, um, he's the co-founder and, uh, the brains of the operation, pockets. You want to say anything? <laughs> All right. I figured I'd give you the chance to speak. He is the uh, the director of creative and the artist formerly known as Rodimus of Wonder Shop and our sports analyst. I mean, our wrestling analyst, Rodimus Prime. What's up? And I forgot to mention he's our resident lucha underground expert. Yeah. That's true. I mean, you've watched the product more than us. Yeah. Well, I've kind of watched it at the same time, but he's watched it more than me. Yeah, he's watched it more, so yeah. that's why I say it. Yeah. And you know who I am. I'm the face of Wonder Shop. I'm, uh, Even if you wear glasses all the time. Yeah, but at least I don't, you know, I don't do this. I do this. You wear your sunglasses at night? Except when I'm driving, because that is dangerous. Unless there's some assholes on the backwoods that uh, flash their high beams and leave them on, even though they're passing you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'm the face of Wonder Shop, the other co-founder. I am War Machine MJ. I don't have any other fancy titles like these two. I'm not an analyst or an expert, so... And you're not a pocket? No, I'm not a pocket rocket deuce deuce. Touchdown block. <laughs> <laughs> you're not mainstream? No, I'm not mainstream. Who's, uh, taking it easy. Yeah, he's taking a little high, I guess. Which, after this work week, I could have. Anyway, we're going to give our awards. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to get started with the Down and Dirty. Talking, of course, about WB. Who, uh, the main roster really hasn't had that much of a stellar year. They, they put on some good stuff, but, um, they didn't quite cut the bill sometimes. Yeah. So, anyway, Superstar of the Year. For once, the Slammy got one right, and I second it. For my Superstar of the Year, Seth freaking Rollins. What say you, Rodimus? I agree. Josh? Yeah, I can't really disagree. He did have the most impactful year of any Superstar this year, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. Woman of the Year. Now, I don't say Diva because that they're not, you know, bitches concerned with um, drama or a TV show about drama. Or what, how do you feel about knockouts? Knockouts is perfect. Because not only are they pretty, they'll knock you out. Yeah. Anyway, Touché. main roster. Will I pick his woman of the year? It's Paige. Because, I mean, aside from that one little nasty promo that the writing staff forced her to say something she wasn't supposed to, mm -hmm. I thought she's cut some great promos, especially the heel turn, the, the pipe bomb promo. I would say Paige. I'll probably even go on the limb and say Nikki Bella. I, what? I wouldn't. But I'm going to have to go on the TNA side and say Gail Kim. Oh, I was, I was just saying for WWE. Oh, WWE. My bad, yeah. my bad. Yeah, we're starting with WWE. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Well, I'll go with uh, Paige. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who say you? Mm. You're going to give the award to your bladder? As much as I would like to say pass, I'll say Nikki. She has, she did have her long ass reign. Reign, and I, I got my arguments about the the reign, but we'll just we'll move on from there. You've said your piece. That's who you pick, and I won't look it in the eye. Match of the year. If, if I have to pick somebody, match of the year. I'm gonna say at WrestleMania, it sure as hell wasn't Triple H versus Sting. Hell no, that match was terrible. But I will say at WrestleMania, it was, my match of the year is Lesnar versus Reigns. That, um, that match was fantastic, you know, plus Seth Rollins cashing in and making out like a bandit. 
I'll I see you on that one, but I'll have to raise your I can't go without saying the Royal Rumble match. Um the triple threat, Lesnar, Cena, Rollins for the title. Especially when Lesnar came out of nowhere and suplexed everybody then the finish. I gotta go with that. Alright. What's that you? Mm, that triple threat tag team match at TLC. Wait, what was the tag team match again? I kind of got it. Oh, the triple threat tag team. The Usos, uh, the New Day, and the New Day. New Day. Uh, yeah, that was a great one. Especially that uh, Selena Del Sol. I was talking about trombones being thrown, but... <laughs> he threw that with perfect accuracy, yeah. though. He yeah. threw that with more accuracy than... Peyton Manning. Than, yeah, than then Aaron. most superstars can throw a foldable chair into the ring. I don't know. Somehow have gotten successful with that. Oh, yeah. Um, tag Team of the Year. Now, we kind of hint about this earlier, but the Slammies gave it to the Usos. Why? Just so they can say the only tag team that has won Tag Team of the Year twice in a row. Not our tag team of the year. No. Or at least not mine. Mm -hmm. Mine would have to be the New Day. Because, I mean, came out of nowhere and they've got a gimmick that rocks. No pun intended. I'm going to easily say the New Day. Mm -hmm. As much as I like the Usos, I mean, they're a good tag team as usual. But, I mean, clearly the New Day, hands down, tag team of the year. I'm going to say Lucha Dragons. They're the only tag team of that kind in the business, and they need to bring in more. And I think it's just a really good throwback to old old school tag team wrestling. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I, I don't think that they should be in WWE. They should go to Lucha Underground. Yeah. But they got a good thing going. So. Yeah. Uh, Pay-per-view of the year. Oh, this is a tough one. Because WWE has put on so much crappy pay-per-views. WWE put on fuck all for pay-per-views this year. I wouldn't say that. My pay-per-view of the year, TLC. That yeah. one was actually pretty, pretty good. Pretty much the only one. redeeming one. Yeah. I'll say um, the only good pay-per-views they had, long story short, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam was shit. Uh, it's hard to say Royal Rumble was good because of the if, Well, ending. I'm talking about based on the triple threat match. We all know oh. the Royal Rumble match, <clears throat> we don't have to get into that. But I'm going to have to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with you, TLC. All right. What's that, you pocket? Yeah, TLC. It's unanimous, TLC. Breakout Superstar of the Year. Superstars, new coming in. They gave this award to Neville at the Slammies. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be fair to give it to Neville, but he hasn't been utilized properly. My pick, Kevin Owens. Because the guy's been coming on, putting on a clinic, especially, you know, after Elimination Chamber. Yeah. So what say you, Ronnie? Kevin Owens, hands down. <coughs> Josh, what say you? A toss up. He's Slater or Kevin Owens. I wouldn't say he's Slater's new. I mean, he's been there, just not uh, been there, if you know what I mean. It's true. Oh, new talent yeah, brought new. in this year? Yeah. yeah. Do they, they bring him up from NXT to the main roster? To the main roster. Kalisto. Kalisto? Oh, okay. I, I brought him in this year. Yeah. I can see that. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. For the breakout woman of the year, there were only uh, three lovely ladies brought up to the roster, but my pick is going to go to the boss, Sasha, Sasha Banks. You were going to say Sasha. I was about to say <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> but, uh... My bad. He said... I was going to say it too. Damn it. He was going to say Sasha... I'm going to have to go with uh, Charlotte. Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte. All right, what say you, Josh? Charlotte's definitely the one in the title picture, but I'm going to say Sasha. I just like her as a wrestler more. She's a better heel. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't Sasha, I'd say Becky Lynch. It, it almost felt like that they were supposed to bring in Charlotte. You know, yeah. just because she felt like that was a given. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeet moment of the year, which when Rod saw this on the card, he's kind of he's kind of choked up about it. My yeet moment of the year would have to be that six foot RKO. Yeah. So, uh, well, just for the record, whoever created the word yeet, we're not trying to steal your stuff. I, it's just something that I say. Yeah, he, he said it the most. Yeah. So, 
to whoever created the word, we apologize. But we thank you for creating the word because that gave Ron yeah. something to say. Aw, yeah. yeet! Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna definitely go with that six foot RKO though, mm. hands down. I mean, it's, it's been a, some not to cut you off, but it's been some deep moments. But that right there, definitely. Um, toss up. I would say between the Slita Del Sol off the top of the ladder. Or that Big E, that first Big E spear through the ropes at top speed, almost, who did, who did he almost break in half? I can't remember. Uh, Didn't that happen at, uh, it was Kid. Yeah, Didn't yeah. that like, happen at Battleground? Was Battleground. that where he got injured? No, 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 that was uh, before the injury. Yeah, but he, like, speared him from the from the apron through the barrier almost. Yeah. But no, like, they both collided into the barrier. I don't know how both of them picked themselves up after yeah. that. I mean, if it wasn't the six foot RKO, I would have definitely gave it to the Selena Del Sol. Yeah. Because that was fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's going to be it for our awards for WB. We're going to turn it to Rodimus, who's going to give his uh, awards for ROH. Rodimus? Well, just ROH or. Anything? Yeah, just ROH. Just, you know, okay. like everything oh. up to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, Superstar of the Year. Easily, Jay Lethal. He, I kind of figured you were going to say he had, I mean, he had the breakout year. First ever undisputed champion. He was the Ring of Honor television champion. 500 plus days as champion. Two title reigns, I mean. And then he had that dual title reign? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. And right. then he's the current Ring of Honor. Undisputed. Yeah, he's the or world. Were they uh, solidified the belt? No, it's still, he oh. still got, this, both belts are still the same. Okay. He just had two belts. Yeah, and he's still the world champ. He defeated uh, Unbreakable Michael Elgin recently at Wrestle Kingdom 10. So I heard that was a pretty good match. Uh, woman of the year, uh, they don't have a women's division, but I'm gonna have to give it to Veda Scott. She's, oh, I, I kind of thought you were gonna say somebody else. She's a pretty good manager. I mean, she, uh, if I'm not mistaken, she currently manages uh, Cedric Alexander. So she's, and they actually have uh, some. Uh, Women of Wrestling, like Wild Wednesday, where they show women's matches. Ah. So, there, there's some pretty good matches. See, I, th I thought you were going to give Woman of the Year to Maria before she left. You know what? God, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I thought I forgot about her. I changed my mind. Sorry, Veda. Maria, though. Maria, though. She gets Woman of the Year. I mean, she's married to Mike Bennett. and she, like, the first women's competitor in there? I don't know. Oh. But I know she managed the kingdom, so... I'm glad you said, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought her up. Woman of the Year, Maria. Sorry, Veda. Match of the Year. Hmm. That's a toss-up. Because they've, they've shown some good matches. I'm going to have to go with uh, the recent match at Final Battle. For Jay Lethal versus AJ Styles for the world title. That was a pretty good match. Mm -hmm. Tag Team of the Year. I'm going to have to go with the Young Bucks. <laughs> of course. Representing the Bullet Club. Uh, Pay-per-view of the year. I'm going to have to go with uh, Best in the World in June. Breakout Star of the Year. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with that boy Moose. Moose, the Moose is loose. That drop kick, though. He has a sick drop kick. Uh, Yeet Moment of the Year. I'm going to say during the Jay Briscoe, Jay Lethal match, title for title at Best in the World, when Jay Briscoe gave Jay Lethal the J Driller through a table off the apron. I mean, the way he was twitching, just. He sold it very well. I don't see how Jay Lethal got up from that. I don't see how he won the match, but that was that deep moment of the night for me. I mean, Yeet Moment of the Year. Yeet Moment of the Night. Well, it's definitely Yeet Moment of the Night for you. Yeah. Yeet Moment of the Year. All right, now we're going to shift it to NXT. And this is suddenly where Pockets dropped off. Yeah. Maybe because he hasn't watched that much of NXT. He hasn't had the network, does he? No. Okay. I think he's seen, like, uh, excuse me. one special. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think this was NXT's first year. 
on uh, the network? Yeah, on the network. Yeah, because usually it, it was on the on the website. Yeah. Or you saw highlights on YouTube. Yeah. In case you're not familiar with NXT, it used to be Florida Championship Wrestling. Yeah. So Triple H has done a good job with that. He, he has. He's done a tremendous job. Yeah. But uh, this was the year that NXT pretty much exploded in a good way. Yeah. Um, superstar of the year. You know, there are many, you know, good superstars on the roster, but I'm going to have to give my pick to, um, to, uh, Finn Balor. Balor Club for life. I would say Finn Balor, but I'm going to go on the limb. I'm going to take another route, and I'm going to say Baron Corbin. Ooh, Baron Corbin, the yeah. lone wolf. All right. That, that's a good He's, pick. Shout out to Finn Balor. He does his thing, but Baron Corbin, when he gets on the main roster, I think they'll they'll do a good job with it. Oh yeah, uh, woman of the year. This is going to be undisputed for us, or at least I think it's going to be Bailey. 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 I want to say Oscar, but I'm going with Bailey. I mean, Bailey's had a great year as champion. I mean, yeah. she pretty much had the Daniel Bryan thing going. Yeah. Nobody said she could be champion, and here she is. Yeah. Giving out championship style hugs. Anyway, match of the year. This one is kind of where me and Rod kind of split up in how we think about match of the year. My pick for match of the year? At WWE Beast in the East, Finn Balor getting the championship from Kevin Owens. The, the pageantry and everything behind it made it a great match. That was nice, but it's so many matches they've had this year. I would say the tag team match from London or the, uh, the tag team match, the semifinal match from the... Uh, Dusty Rhodes Classic. Wait, which the final? It was Corbin and Rhino versus uh, Jordan and Gable. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Or Brooklyn, Sasha versus Bailey. And coming down to it, I'm going to go with Sasha versus Bailey at NFC TakeOver Brooklyn. Ah, I thought you were going to say respect with that 30 um, minute Iron Man match. Yeah, I, I could because, you know, that was, that was kind of too emotional, but I'm going to go with the first one. All right. Tag Team of the Year. Uh, me and Ron, we got an undisputed pick for Tag Team of the Year. I say end zone cast. Yeah, definitely end zone cast. Uh, the mechanics, they do their thing, but end zone cast take the cake. If it wasn't for end zone cast, Jordan and Gable would have gotten it. Yeah. Because, I mean, they've really just, like, imploded onto the map. They're, like, white hot. And speaking of end zone cast, there is, there's an award I'm going to, you know, I'm going to spell out that's not on here. Promo of the year. I'm going to give that to Enzo and Cass because before TakeOver London, they put out basically a promo that got rid of the whole, you know, fake thing. You know, it, it was a real promo. Yeah. Talking about how um, trying to injure Big Cass and Enzo kind of, you know, is taking away food for their family, so to speak. Yeah, it was, it was quite different from what you normally say. They usually come out there and do their usual stick, but they were focused. Yeah. But and that was a good tag team match at London, though. It was. Too bad they didn't come up with the win, but if they don't get to the main roster, something is wrong. Yeah. Anyway, Long overdue. Uh, not really a pay-per-view, but special of the year. This is a tricky one. There have been so many good ones. Um, Arrival, um, Unstoppable. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Um, Respect. Respect and London. Good ones, but... Uh, God... My pick is going to be uh, unstoppable. It's pretty much what sold me to NXT. Yeah, I'm going I would say London because of that crowd because they were just lit the whole show, even before they at, before they showed the actual uh, takeover. Yeah, but uh, I also want to say respect because of that because of the main event. I'm gonna go with Brooklyn. Gonna go with Brooklyn. Go with Brooklyn. All right. Um, <clears throat> breakout superstar of the year. You know, there's been it's NXT. You're gonna see new faces almost, you know, weekly. However, my pick for breakout superstar of the year is a vet to the game. I'm picking Samoa Joe. Yeah. Um, like you said, so many. You got Asuka, Apollo Cruz. Well, I said superstar. Yeah, males. Just males. Just males. Yeah. Oh, well, Samoa Joe, Apollo Cruz. I'm going with Apollo Crews. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Yeah. Um, Apollo Crews would have been my second pick. Yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty neck and neck between them, but yeah. Joe just a little bit more. Yeah. Breakout uh, woman of the year. Oscar. 
Oscar. And what can we say? Come on. Ah, hands down. She's one chick that you would want to kick your teeth down. But when throat. the uh, one before that, I was going to say because of the veteran experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, he's a more well known name. Yeah. I mean, NXT, ROH. Well, TNA, ROH. Yeah. You know, more experienced name with Joe. Yeet moment of the year. Uh, this one's kind of tough because there were so many good Yeet moments in uh, NXT. Uh, Do you know what? I know what to give Yeet moment of the, of the year to. Uh, the T the almost the TNA the NXT after London. You know they're they're taping in London. Gonna have to give it to Jason Jordan who pretty much suplexed the whole the whole match. I'm gonna go with NXT Takeover Respect in the uh, semifinal match with Rhino and Corbin, Corbin and against uh, Jordan and Gable. When uh, Gable, I guess, was going for like a hurricane rod or whatever. Yeah. And Corbin caught him for the end of days. Oh yeah. I'm I'm going with Yeet Moment of the Year for that. I mean, if, if it wasn't, you know. If that wasn't the, my pick for it, it would have been um, Apollo Cruz's debut because yeah. a guy that big who pretty much moves around like a freaking grasshopper. He's like Kevin Hart on steroids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looks just like Kevin Hart. And now that that's done, we're going to turn it to Rodimus Prime with his uh, awards for TNA. TNA, all righty. Uh, for those of you who still keep up with TNA, they recently debuted on their new network, Pop. The, uh, yeah, pop, um, pop. They really were popping fresh. Yeah, they was popping I Popping fresh, yes. But uh, the first, the live show was pretty good. I mean, it was their first show on the new network. All that being said, Superstar of the Year. I'm going to have to give it to, man, there's so many. I'm going to have to give it to uh, EC3. Really? Yeah, I'm giving it to EC3. I thought you would have said Bobby Roode. Or Lashley or Kurt Angle, either yeah. one of them. But I'm going to go with uh, EC3. All right. Woman of the Year. Uh, you've had so many of the beautiful women in TNA. No Karen, pun intended. Huh? No pun intended. No pun intended. Uh, Angelina Love. You know, she's not wrestling because of her pregnancy. Gail Kim, Taryn Terrell, who's no longer with the company. Uh, Austin Kong, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going go with Gail Kim. Match I, I of the year. I kind of figured you were. Yeah. Match of the year. Man. I'm going to go with when they were on Destination America, the first night, January 7th, 2015. Bobby Roode versus Lashley for the world title. That was a pretty good match until Eric Young cost uh, Bobby Roode the title. Wasn't that where he, uh, he kind of gave him a... Um what was it? Damn it, I can't think of the move. The pile driver? The pile driver. No, that was like later on oh, okay. in a few weeks. Okay, all right, yeah. But yeah, that's match of, the, match of the year. Tag team of the year. I'm going to go with the Wolves. The Wolves. Yeah, I mean, really their tag team division is kind of shit because, you know, the Hardy Boys, you know, Jeff's out for the year. Matt's doing his thing. Beer money's coming back, which should be interesting. But the Wolves, they get the cake for that one. Pay-per-view of the year. It's not too many pay-per-views. It's not that they do pay-per-views on pay-per-view because they don't have the money to. Well, I mean, you could take that as a special. I mean. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'll say Bound for Glory 2015 in October. I mean, that, that's why I put slash special yeah. because, I mean, technically NXT doesn't count as um, pay per view. So. Yeah. Anyway, breakout star of the year. I'm going to give it to uh, Drew Galloway. I kind of figured you were going to say that. Yeah. Or I could have gave him Mr. Let Me Talk to You, Eli Drake. He gets on my nerves. Let us talk at you. Yeah. But we're talking action, not to you. Well, technically, we are talking well, to you. We're yeah, talking well. to you like people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the moment of the year. It has to go to the Ultimate X match when T. Gray Uno 450 splashed DJ DJ Z on the floor. Wait, wasn't that from the top of the 
Like the scaffolding. No, like uh, he knocked DJ Z on the floor and yeah. uh, T Great Uno did a four fifty splash off the top rope on the floor. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So uh, who's your breakout woman of the uh, breakout knockout of the year? Breakout knockout of the year. I'm gonna have to go with Terry. Yes, Pro. who's your BK of the year? BK. BK. Nice one. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Terrence Rowe. All right. All right. Yeah. That's the end of uh, TNA. And now we're. This is where Pockets kicks back up because this is uh, the little brand that could Lucha Underground. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. They're, this is their. That was their first year. They're coming back for season two. I mean, nobody thought that they would come back for season two. Yeah. Season two is going to be amazing, especially after that trailer. Yeah. Where we saw Ray Mysterio there. Yeah. PJ Black, or you know Rodimus' favorite person in the world now, um, Joey Ryan. What the? You porn plex. Oh God. I hope he doesn't do that on Lucha Underground. Cause if he does, I'm not watching. I swear. <laughs> anyway. I swear on my life. Uh, Lucha Underground. Um, I would basically compare this to a um. A rebirth of ECW, and not that crappy watered-down product WWE put out, like Paul Heyman ECW, or maybe like an underground version of WCW. Right? Well, I don't know. They go to a little bit more extremes than WCW. Well, oh, yeah. But um, our pick for Superstar of the Year, I'm going with Puma, because I mean, come on, he, he's had a great run in uh, Lucha Underground so far. Yeah. I'm gonna go with. Either Johnny Mundo or Puma, but I'm gonna take Puma. All right. Mm. Now, now before you say your pick, I just want to say that um, technically Patron counts as um, on this. Yeah. So. Oh, it wouldn't be Alberto at all. Well, no, I, I'm just saying, like, mm. if you ever think about any matches or anything, you know, that involves him, he counts. Technically. Mm. I would say Puma. He had a really, really great year. Yeah. But I'm going to say Phoenix. Phoenix. All right. All right. I mean, you're there, you're gone for half the year, and then you, you show up and you have so much fan support that you're basically guaranteed a title. Yeah. 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 That's, that's fan commitment. I mean, I, I would agree with you on there, you know, in that situation, but that situation would always pay out. I mean, look at The Rock. He came back in 2011. Well, he, well, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't get his title. He had Not only did he have to fight through the Gift of the Gods tournament, yeah. but then he also had to fight the finalists in in a no-holds match for well, the belt. Well, I meant like, you know, in that situation where somebody is gone for an extended period of time, they come back and they're just about guaranteed to be in a title shot. That situation doesn't always work because, you know... Like The Rock, he came back in 2012 and he was put into a WWE title match. Well, like I said, he was he yeah. wasn't put into a title match. He kind of like snuck his way into a yeah. medallion match. Okay, but I see what you're saying. He's yeah. going to go with Phoenix. Um, Woman of the Year. That's this one's going to be kind of hard, considering there's only three lovely ladies you see on the TV. So uh, I'm going to give it to Sexy Star. Mm. Mm. It's a toss up. You got Katrina, Sexy Star, and Evelise. Evelise, and I'll count the what's the name of ring announcer? Or ring announcer? I forget her name. Melissa or something like yeah, that. Yeah, she got it going on too. Yeah, I wouldn't count uh Melina. Definitely, I wouldn't count her. She just like showed up mm -hmm. on the match. That day. <sighs> it's so hard for me to pick. I'm gonna go with that damn Katrina though. I knew you're gonna go Katrina. That damn Katrina. But Sexy Star, I mean, she's up there. I like Sexy Star and Katrina does do the whole like holder of the Enchanted Stone evil evil Empress kind of bit really well. Yeah. But I'm gonna go with Evil Lisa. She's still a bad bitch. Yeah. I'd say she's a bad bitch like Lita. Yeah. Yeah. Um, match of the year. There have been many great matches on Lucha Underground. Man. But my pick it's gonna be um Vampiro versus Pentagon Jr. That thought, was fantastic. Now thought, that was a great throwback to hardcore ECW. Especially the swerve ending at the end where Vampiro turns out to be Pentagon's master. Yeah, it's I like thought, a Shama. Not, not to keep cutting you off, but that was like an M. Night Shama. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Back when his swerves were yeah, relevant. That was good. I thought you, maybe you would have picked. Um, All my long? Nuh uh. When uh, 
and Helco did that dive. Well, I said match of the year. Yeah, match of the year. We haven't gotten the yeet moment yet. I'm talking about oh, yeah. Yeah. that match. Yeah. Yeah, but no, match. I'd still pick uh, Pentagon versus uh, Vampiro because that match was so it's so It's been so many. I'm going to go with a sleeper. Phoenix versus Mil Mortez the second time they faced. Mm-hmm. When uh, Mil Mortez. When Mil Mortez powerbombed Phoenix through the roof. Um, through Dario Cueto's <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think that was his office. It, it was his office. It was his office. Yeah, they're always like fucking up his office. Yeah. Like, but wasn't it yeah. like a storage room or something like that? No, that's his office because he like got put through the office and then he like landed through the the desk or whatever. Oh yeah. yeah. Like he wasn't supposed to land through yeah. the desk, but like I think he messed up messed up the spot and he like when he power bombed him through the roof. Yeah. You could tell it was plywood and not. But yeah, he like the reason like he couldn't move or anything and they had to drag him out was like. He got put through the roof and he landed through the desk, and it was like a legitimate desk, like something like that table it's, right it's there. It's definitely hardwood. Yeah. I, when you said sleeper, I thought you were going to say, um, uh, damn it, the first match of uh, Ultima Lucha, like the first night, mm. uh, oh, the but, back versus the machine. Yeah. Yeah, that match. Yeah. I mean, that was a good match. Mm. I'm go with that. Match of the match of the year. I kind of have a feeling of what you who you gonna pick. I would say all night long between oh, Puma and Mundo. I'm also kind of leaning towards the um, the first matchup between Phoenix and Mil Mortez, the uh, uh, Forever Death match or whatever it was yeah, called. Yeah, like a casket match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm also kind of leaning towards the whole like Believers Backlash match. That one was oh, really good too. That that, good. that that was a legitimate like fans really did fuck. With. They really did. Uh, you get to help out in that one. They really did number Hernandez. Yeah, yeah. but... Wait, who did he take on in that match again? Oh, it was Hernandez versus uh, Drago. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Dra- if Drago lost, he was, like, k- forever kicked out. Yeah, and he had to unmask. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to say Phoenix versus Aerostar for the... Gift of the Gods? No, no, no. This, this is just a normal match. It was oh. Phoenix versus Aerostar, but it's pretty much the greatest high-flying match. They did it all. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, tag team of the year. Now, Lucha Underground doesn't have a defined tag team. You know, they don't have a defined division. Mm. But for me, I'm going to say um, on Helico, Son of Havoc, and Evil East. So, I mean, come on. That is one hell of a tag team. I agree. Those three, definitely. Is that your choice? Yeah. I'm going to say, before they started feuding, Puma and Johnny Mundo versus Big Rick and um, Cortez Castro and what was the name of their little group? The Crew. Yeah, versus uh, Big Rick and the Crew. Big Rick and... I forgot. Yeah, it was Cortez Castro and the other two dudes. They were like cholos or whatever. Oh no! I can't wait. Anyway, yeah, it was the and it, this was before they were feuding, but it was Puma and Johnny Mundo so you're made go with one hell of a no. That was actually legitimate match. No, I'm just saying that. you're gonna go with Puma and Mundo. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, that was good. Um, they didn't have any pay per views. They or, had specials of the year. Or Phoenix and Aerostar. They had pretty good tag team going. Yeah. But I mean, come on, that dive from the yeah. office. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. What what moment is this? No, this is um special of the year. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Now, they didn't have any pay-per-views, and they only had two specials. There was All Night Long, which was nothing but Puma versus Mundo for a solid, wasn't it, one hour? Yeah, yeah. the yeah. whole A solid show. hour. It was uh, like mid-season. Yeah. And then the two nights of Ultima Lucha. Yeah. Both nights count as, you know, one special. So, me, I'm going to pick um, both nights of Ultima Lucha. Yeah. I'm going with All Night Long. I got, I got Ultima Lucha. All right. Uh, of course, we're skipping Breakout Superstar Woman of the Year considering Lucha Underground just started. So, you know. Uh, Yeet Moment of the Year. So many. My pick? Uh, it, it's not just one pick. It's uh, I'm going to give it uh, its entire match. The Mac versus the Machine. Because, I mean, spot one with the uh, the stunner and the beer and the dogging. 
And then the curb stomp through the cement. Wait, he took on Cage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Cage versus uh, the match. Yeah. Okay, my bad. But, uh... You said the machine, right? Yeah, I said the machine. Yeah, that was... It's the machine cage. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm the one that stands corrected. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna give... I'm gonna... I'm gonna give Deep Moment of the Year two nods as well. That dive from Inhelico off the office. That 30-foot gap. That 30-foot gap. No, like, I mean... Seriously. The way up here to down here in the yeah, ring. Like, he landed the crossbody perfectly. I mean, jeez. And then, um, no, I'm asked to give it three. Phoenix, when he got power bombed through the roof again. And then when the mat got curb stomped through that cinder block. That's my three right there. All right. Mm, I would say on Helico, but I'm going to go with. When Johnny Mundo put Alberto Del Rio through the plate glass window of Dario Cueto's office. Oh yeah, I forgot the about that. week after his office got fixed, when when Alberto Del Rio put Johnny Mundo through through the same window. Uh, right. And this and this was a legitimate glass window because you know when they showed Alberto's face, his face was all cut up. Yeah. Like, Johnny blood Mundo's pool of blood on the floor. His, his was worse as Alberto's, though. Yeah. Because, I mean, his face was just complete, like, fully, 100% Yeah, that was wrecked. like a puddle. He was laying on the floor with a puddle. Like, yeah, know. like, Alberto was bad, but Johnny's was worse. Yeah. Well, that's the end of our Lucha Underground Awards. Now it's time for overall. This is, you know, everything combined. Mm -hmm. So, uh, overall superstar of the year. That, that's, that's a hard one. Uh... I'm going to have to give it to uh, Finn Balor. I'm giving it to Jay Lethal. All right. Um, I'm going to a toss-up. I got Balor. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll say Reigns, Rollins, or Puma. Oh, you're going to say Reigns in this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Reigns, Rollins, or Puma. That, those are good choices, right? Yeah, that's a nice pick. Um, overall woman of the year. That is a tough one. But I'm going to give it to Bailey. I would say either Veda Scott or Maria from Ring of Honor, but I'm not going to count them. So I'm going to take another route and say Sexy Star from Lucha Underground. Uh -huh. hmm. I would say Sexy Star, but um, overall, who had the, the most influential year? Uh, Probably Bailey. She's she's the one making the most headlines, like national headlines for what yeah. what's going on. All right. Overall match of the year. A tough one. Very very tough one. I'm gonna give it to all night long. Um, that really that was a really good classic like lumberjack. Not lumberjack. It was that was Iron, Iron Man. Iron, Iron Man. Man match, yeah. yeah. Um. I'm going to go Ring of Honor. Title for title, Jay Lethal versus Jay Briscoe. Oh, Jay versus Jay? Yeah. At uh, Best in the World back in June. That was a pretty good match. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Puma versus Mil Mortez for the championship at Ultima Lucha. Uh -huh. it just, I think that embodies everything that I look for in a title match. Either, either Superstar could have won. And there was no hate from either side from the fans. Like, whoever won, everybody was just going crazy. They basically got sold the show. Yeah. yeah. You said Puma versus Mundo? Puma versus uh, Mil Muerte. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. final match. The final match of the season. Yeah, that yeah. was that was good. That was awesome. Um, overall tag team. Another tough one, but uh, my, my pick's blatantly obvious. Um, I'm going to go with um, Jordan Gable from NXT. I'm going to have to go the same way. Um, I haven't seen much of anything, so I can only go with what I've seen. Okay. So, um, Tag Team of the Year, who had the best year from what I've seen, The New Day. But, I can't, like, like I said, I can't tell you what I think without seeing the other stuff, so all I've seen is New Day, really. Okay, so you're going to go with New Day? Yeah. Okay. Um... Overall pay-per-view slash special of the year. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going both nights of Ultima Lucha. Because, I mean, that beat out WWE by a long shot. Beat out TNA by a long shot. ROH and NXT came very close to that. Yeah. I'm a... I want to say respect. There's so many that were pretty good. You had respect in NXT. You got some Lucha, some TNA. But I'm going to go with All-Star Extravaganza from Ring of Honor. Nice. Okay. Uh, Only because of the finish of the world title match. Alright. I'm going to have to go Ultima Lucha. Both it's, nights. It's, and they, they, it's not just because, you know, it's it wasn't your ordinary pay-per-view. It wasn't your ordinary special. They had some of everything. They had ECW in there. They had, you know, classic Monday Night Raw in there. They yeah. had everything. Just, yeah. just anything you wanted to see, they had it. Overall yeet moment of the year. Uh, I got Selena Del Sol up the ladder. Six foot RKO from WrestleMania 31. Easily. Vampiro screaming at Pentagon Jr. Break my arm. Do it. And oh, the swerve. And he did it. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, I would have counted the whole, you know, like, revelation. That, yeah. As, as the uh, yeet moment. But that, that was a good one. Now, for the one that's pretty much easy for us to, you know, take a shot at. Brand of the year. Is, is it not, you know, yeah. okay? Yeah. I would say NXT, but Lucha Underground. The little brand that could, Lucha yeah. Underground. Yeah. yeah. Lucha pretty Underground much. definitely takes the trophy. I mean, it, it. it's pretty much one of the best competitors in the Wednesday Night Wars, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty much just straight distilled. Distilled? Distilled? Anyway, it, it's not watered down at all. It's just straight. Oh. Straight on Straight Lucha. Straight from Mexico. And bring it here. And then the thing is, like, they bring in people who are already veterans in the wrestling business. And... People that are veterans that have been wrestling 20, 20, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years. Yeah, probably even yeah, five years. That you like, don't even... That they, you've never even heard of. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the thing is, it's an hour long, but it's good. You know, mm -hmm. NXT, kind of getting off subject, but NXT is an hour, it's good, but Lucha... It's just like, wow. Like, I mean, it just came out of nowhere. You think about it, that these shows that are only an hour long have put on better results than most of these hours that go over an hour. I mean, TNA is limping to the barn with everything. Uh, SmackDown has got a little hope. Cause they're, you know, they're on new networks that, draw big, that drew big ratings. Did you watch last night? No, I didn't. Okay. Me neither. I was at home. <laughs> but Monday Night Raw is seriously limping to the barn with three hours. I'll I'll say this. I'll just make it quick. If TNA gets back to what they normally do, if it improves, it could be better than Monday Night Raw. I know I'm crazy for saying that, but no, 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 you're, you're not wrong. wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, but to, if you said, you know, TNA could be better than Lucha Underground, I hell no. I, I'd have to I'd have to beat you. <laughs> I'd I'd let y'all beat me for saying that. Uh, They'd have to get some serious money investment and pretty much fire most of their event planning and writing and promotional staff. And booking. Yeah. And kick out Dixie Carter. Yeah. Kick out the whole management. Cause that I, I don't know. I, I keep Billy Corgan just to see what he's going to do. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's our year-end awards. Uh, Lucha Underground pretty much just sweep the overall categories. Yeah. But yeah. We look forward to see what 2016 brings us in the whole wide world of wrestling. So, uh, I'm all here at Water Shop. He's Pockets, he's Rodimus Prime, and I'm the best damn Austin Aries impersonator ever, War Machine MJ, and we will see you guys next time.